So hi guys, in this video we are going to address one of the most misunderstood concepts there is in electronics which is a microcontroller versus a microprocessor. So we are going to talk about the difference between these two and what devices we use what and spoiler alert, a microcontroller has a microprocessor inside it and if it does, why do we even bother to use a microprocessor in laptops and phones? Why not simply use a microcontroller everywhere? So that is also what we are going to talk about. So to get started, let's go back to our basics and start with what a processor is. A processor is simply an electronic circuit which is able to do computations and operations on data. Right? It's able to process data by doing logical operations or mathematical operations. Right? Now question is, how does it do these operations? How does it know what operations to do? Any processor uses a program, a code that a user feeds into that. A code is nothing but a set of instructions that tell your processor on how to make computations or do operations on your data. So any system in the world that does processes or computations on data needs a processor. It could be your laptop, your phone, your Arduino, your Xbox, washing machine, satellites. Everything needs a processor, right? Now coming to microprocessors, they are nothing but processors on a small scale. When this processor is integrated onto a single chip, right, and in a micro scale, we call it a microprocessor. You have a microprocessor in your laptop, in your phone, and even in your Xbox or Playstations, right? So these are processing units on a small scale. Now it's important to know that simply doing operations on data is not sufficient in any system you need to have a memory where you store the data that is being processed you need to have certain peripheral interfaces which is basically giving your microprocessor ability to communicate with different devices for example in your laptop you need to communicate between the usb port between the hdmi port between the memory you need certain peripheral interfaces right so a microprocessor is simply the processing unit. It needs a memory as well. It needs certain peripheral interfaces as well. That's where your microcontroller comes in. A microcontroller is a microprocessor plus memory plus peripheral interfaces all in a single chip, right? You can say a microcontroller is a complete system on its own. Now my question over here is if microcontroller is so good, it has all the features of a microprocessor plus additional things. Why do we even bother to use a microprocessor? Your laptop, your phone contain a microprocessor. Your Xbox contains a micro microprocessor. Now the reason we prefer a microcontroller in some scenarios is because of the very reason that everything is integrated onto a single chip. Because everything is on a single chip, there are certain limitations on the memories on the processing speed because there are size constraints over here right everything has to be on a single chip right because of these microcontrollers so because of this microcontrollers have very limited memories and limited processing speeds right your arduino has a microcontroller it has a memory of 32 kilobytes and a processing speed of 16 megahertz your node mcu has a microcontroller which has a memory of 4 mb when we talk about the laptops and phone, we have memory in the range of gigabytes and processing speed in the range of gigahertz, right? So microcontrollers have limited computational power and memory. So we use them when we only need some limited computations, when you need to only execute one or two programs. For example, your Arduino is capable of executing a single program at a time, right? But your laptop needs to execute multiple programs simultaneously. That's why you cannot use a microcontroller. Over there, in a laptop, in a phone, you have a microprocessor. You have some big memory attached externally. You have peripheral interfaces unit attached externally. Right? So when you need large computational power, lots of program to process, you go with a microprocessor and take a big memory and attach it externally. When you have limited needs and limited programs to execute, you go to a microcontroller. Right? Your washing machine uses a microcontroller because it has very limited programs to execute simultaneously. There's the on-off button, there's a timer and some other motor functions. 
right so i hope the con difference between microcontroller and microprocessor is clear by now just to make sure that you have grabbed the concept correctly try to pick up any devices that you use in your daily life and guess whether there's a microcontroller or microprocessor inside it right test question what do you think we use in a fan a microcontroller or a microprocessor do leave that in the comments if you did like this video do like share and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching